Hello everyone. I'm going to do a pull for everybody. And I got three decks out for right now. <laughs> and, um, you know, a friend of mine just had said to me, uh, we were just talking. Her name is, you guys may know her, um, Gypsy JJ. And the little fairy that hangs out, you know, a lot. I see this orb. And I'm pretty sure that <laughs> it's looks more like what it looked like in the video and um she said to me she said why, why don't you name her or ask her what her name is and just as it was coming out of my mouth she said doris and i said doris and she's she's um then i said dolores no, she, and then she said no it's doris so her name is Doris, the little fairy that comes around here a lot. <laughs> I see her a lot. And, um, okay, let's get on to your read. I'm going to start out first with the Golden Tarot. Oh, the Queen of Cups was on the bottom. Awesome, that's beautiful. All right. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's fine. And if not, nothing ever stays the same. Nothing. Everything changes. If somebody ever says, you know, it doesn't and you're stagnant or whatever. Well, even if you're stagnant, you're still moving. It's just the direction that you need to be in at that time. It doesn't ever stay the same. Nope. Okay, I need to do one of these kind. And I think that's it. Okay. Five, three cards. Three off the top, two from the bottom. And then a cut at the end. All right, first card. First card is death. So that means that um, something's going to come to an end. And um, then there'll be a new beginning for it. Let's see what other cards are with it. The Emperor... Heck yeah, man. Starting out strong. Starting out strong. <laughs> then the Six of Wands. Got some friends with you. <laughs> Let's get a story, okay? The Knight of Wands. Heck yeah. The Queen of Swords. All right. I think whatever's happening, has purpose. You have strength behind you and messages coming in with these crows. You got a lot of wand action and then a sword. You got the queen of swords backing you. Sometimes we only know a part of the story. You know, and that comes with the Knight of Wands. It's only a half a horse. So sometimes we only know a partial of what the what the real things are. And so I believe that uh, if we don't jump the if we don't jump the gun and just wait it out a little bit, and we'll find out what the what the true true story is. Let's get out some more cards, okay? Oh, don't want to drop that. That was a knight of, knight of wands trying to giddy up and go on that horsey. <laughs> Whoa, missed it. 
Oh, I was supposed to do a cut. But I heard at the end. So, maybe that's, um, maybe I'm just supposed to wait until all these cards come out. Right there. The Daughter. Beautiful. I'm going to need my glasses to read the stuff that's on it, though. Yeah, that time of year. Okay. The answer to your question involves your daughter. Hmm. This could be either somebody that either your daughter or you may just see a little girl in the store and and you and you receive a message. Yeah. She sure is playing though. Let's see what the next card is. Let go. Yeah. As you surrender the need to control your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. Yeah. That's awesome. It's so very true. There's a little fairy in the nest. She's talking with the bird. Isn't that crazy? I was singing to the birds. About a half hour ago when I was letting the dogs out to go to the bathroom. And then all of a sudden I had, had this thought drop to make them a peanut butter sandwich and seeds. So I took two pieces of bread, put some peanut butter on there. And the dogs wanted to, some peanut butter too. So I put them on some bread or whatever and halved it and gave it to them. And, um, but I put seeds on it. Right on top of that sandwich. Squished it down real good. And went out and I threw out a little, you know, probably got like nine pieces out of it or something. And, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. One more. Connect with nature. I got to figure out why my camera has flipped everything around because all the words are backwards now. Connect with nature. That's a beautiful fairy too. There's also a butterfly in there. Butterfly's transformation. Okay, and this is what it says. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. Well, there's two outdoors cards. And then there's that little girl. She's out there swinging. Just a swinging. <laughs> yeah. So if it's not too cold, maybe you could go outside and just breathe that fresh air. Yeah. And you can tell Mother Earth, hello, Mother Earth. Or good evening, good morning, good night, anything. Yeah. Okay, that's all of those I'm supposed to get. And now, some of the whispered, all oh, those were the, um, the uh, magical messages from fairies. And then these are the whispering wind, word, wind, whispering woods, the woods, and the two outdoor cards. Six of Wands is also outdoors. So is the Knight of Wands. The other two are looking out for whatever reason. Maybe you need to look out and just check out nature. Okay, let's get some of these.
All right. Do a little flipping. <laughs> oh, that one flipped out. Okay. Uh oh, caution. <laughs> Throw caution to the wind. <laughs> Okay, right there. Okay, the first one was caution. Tread softly so as not to disturb the woodland floor. Change. Look at that little squirrel up there. Yeah, it's a little baby squirrel. Change. Falling leaves do not signify the end, but the beginning of a fruitful session. Change. Yeah. Patience. Everything can be accomplished at nature's pace. Yeah. Everything can be accomplished at nature's pace. And we got all these nature cards. The let go. Connect with nature. Yeah. And strength. When your roots are deep, you need not fear the storm. When your roots are deep, that means being grounded. If you don't know how to ground, I my last meditation that I put up maybe a week ago, check that one out. It has uh, four of the archangels and um, or five, six, six archangels. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, and, and we go through the process of grounding, okay? And here we go, some more strength. Came with the emperor and the Leo the lion. Okay. Flow. Go with the flow. As water trickles down a stream, do not hurry. You don't have to worry about worrying at all. And that goes with the patience, too. Sometimes we got to be patient with ourselves. I know going with the flow. Say that you're in a canoe, okay? And you got two oars. And you're just rowing and rowing and watching everything and having a good old time or whatever kind of time that you're having. And all of a sudden things start, you know, well, maybe I'll just bring in one of the oars. So you, bring, you take in an oar, then you're only rowing with one oar. And what happens is that you start going in circles. And so... If the water's running, and if you go with the flow, you take both oars and you put them inside the canoe. And then you could just sit back and relax and go with the flow. Yeah. You either got to use both oars when you're doing a lot of work. And if it gets too hard, just bring the oars in the boat and go with the flow. Because when we fight against current, I mean that current, it could get rough. But it doesn't have to be. Just pick them up. Pick up those oars. You could do it.
<laughs> you can't. There's no work to that. You just sit back, relax, and let the strength and the change and the and the patience and and check out all the nature around you. All this nature that you got. We got. Lots and lots and lots lots of nature. Lots of nature. And then there was a nature card too. It's down there. In all these cards. <laughs> well, thank you everybody. I just love you guys. And uh, thanks for stopping by. And remember to be kind, be nice, and be love. Yeah. There we go. Mwah. Have an awesome day, night, evening, whatever you're going to do. Just have fun. Relax. Don't worry. Things are changing. Yeah.